Welcome to BTG case discussion. So this tooth is a little bit atypical in that typically patients have four wisdom teeth. This patient happens to have three wisdom teeth, 16, 17, and 32, upper left, lower left, lower right. As you can see from this panoramic x-ray that all three of these teeth are fully impacted. So what we're gonna do first is address the lower right side, then focus our attention to the upper left and lower left, complete this case pretty quickly, pretty uneventfully for the patient. At first, we go in after the patient is sedated to the appropriate level and give local anesthesia. We give blocks to the lower, then I move on the same side to the upper and infiltrate. And really traditionally what I'll do is I'll make my incision with a new 15 blade on the lower, intracellular with the distal buccal release, allowing for a full thickness flap elevation. Then I go to the upper where I start on the distal buccal around the tuberosity, bring it toward the palate, elevate all the way up to about halfway through the second molar. That allows for the greatest visibility and also allows me to remove some of the soft tissue, which often is a big concern when we're removing an upper third molar. We can be pushing with our elevator, uh, but the soft tissue will prevent the easy extraction. So it's all in that flap design. So what I'll do is, is open the lower soft tissue, open the upper soft tissue, move to extracting the upper third molar first, Typically for this, as long as there's no significant bone or soft tissue, which I would remove with a rongeur, I will use my 77R elevator, which I'll position right at the cervical margin of the distal of the second molar. And using slight rotation and downward force, always using less force than you would think is necessary, just fingertips, we remove the upper third molar. After I've removed the third molar, I clean out and debride the socket of all soft tissue using a serrated double-ended spoon curette and a rongeur to remove the remaining tissue. Of course, we also clean up the bone, irrigate, and make sure that this, the flap is back in place on its own. Then we go to the lower, where we again elevate the soft tissue flap on the buckle, protect the lingual flap using the wide end of the periosteal elevator, trough the bone using the Lindemann burr on a rear exhausted high speed handpiece, and then using a 301 elevator, we enter the socket and the mesial aspect of the third molar, and using some distal rotation, lightly remove the tooth. In this case, there was no bone behind it, so the tooth came out pretty easily and without much trouble. We did have to protect the tissue on the lingual so that there's no stretch or damage to the lingual nerve. We remove the rest of the follicle, irrigate it out very well, and then using two interrupted 3-0 gut sutures, close the flap primarily.